The Tata Hexa has been one of the most anticipated SUVs since last year. This one is one of the biggest cars under Tata's new redesign, alongside providing a lot of technology inside and a whole new drive. How does it fare? Well, let's find out. behind the steering wheels of the Tata Hexa you can really feel the heft of the car this is a big car this is a heavy car and you really feel it when you're driving along with that you get a slightly stiffer steering wheel which is also a little smaller in size along with the weight the stiffness makes it a little difficult to handle in city traffic uh, especially if you're trying to make quick turns then the steering wheel might be a bit too heavy for you but uh, on overall terms the car handles pretty well on highways uh, there's ample power and uh, the 2.2 litre Varico 400 diesel engine does pretty well of taking to the highway and speeding up. There is a slight amount of uh, lag, especially in the lower ranges, but that is something that you would more or less expect from a car like this. Along with the heft, what you do get though is a good ride quality and the car manages to soak up most of the bumps really well and uh, unless the bump is really bad you're not gonna really get unsettled in the car there is however body roll so you need to take the corners at a slower speed and all of this combined makes the tata hexa a pretty good car to ride in if only the steering wheel was slightly more pliant and uh, offered equally heavy feedback it would have been an even better car to drive now a large part of Tata's new redesign is to make their in-cabin experience more plush and more appealing to the youth of India, the ones who are buying new cars. And this SUV gets Tata's new Connect Next infotainment system. This is a more or less familiar format for an infotainment unit inside a car. In fact, these buttons resemble uh, any Volkswagen or Skoda, so to say. And Tata's added a few buttons over here as well. Uh, along with that you get this uh, piano black finish over here along with the uh, matte rubberized ends and a uh, chrome strip on these AC vents around these AC vents and the knobs as well uh, chrome strips over here as you can see along with that you get a couple of buttons here for parking sensor and central locking and the AC controls lie at the bottom of the pillar along with the ports that reside here the overall in-cabin experience is not bad but the plastic still doesn't feel very upmarket. The overall finish on the dash is uh, reasonably decent and uh, when it comes to the infotainment system, it is powered by Tata's Connect Next platform which is built on BlackBerry's QNX operating system. So once you switch it on, and you go to the home screen, you're greeted by this color display. It's not a very uh, high resolution display, so to say, but uh, it still gets its job done. Unfortunately, you can't really swipe like this. Uh, doing so is rather tedious and doesn't always seem to work. So you'd rather rely on these arrows or use the knob over here, which makes things uh, much easier. The pairing is fairly easy, you go to setup, you tap on Bluetooth and uh, you get the standard options to uh, get a paired device list. You can change the pin of your Bluetooth connection and uh, you can enable or dis disable your Bluetooth visibility from here. So pairing is pretty straightforward. There's nothing unusual over there. And once you're done pairing, you'll get uh, your call logs downloaded and your contacts also downloaded. So once you go to call logs, you get your recently called list along with um, the contacts which you can access from this tab. So you get all your contacts alphabetical order. As you can see, I'm having to struggle a little bit in terms of operating the touchscreen. There's a, it feels like there's a small film on top of the touchscreen which gives you a kind of a false feedback at times and all of this makes uh, 
the infotainment system a mixed experience of sorts we'll quickly go back to the home screen other things you get is standard bluetooth media playback and of course an fm am radio you can also go to phone which is going to give you the call log and uh, Switching to options uh, on the go is going to just give you a paired device list so that, so that you can switch your Bluetooth connection on the go. And uh, you also get a voice commands quick guide to figure out uh, what commands do which operations. Now navigation, it's not a satellite enabled navigation system. Uh, this one works with Tata's Navimaps uh, phone application which is found on Android smartphones unfortunately it's not there on iOS yet so if you're using an iOS device you're not gonna get navigation on the console you can of course use Google Maps to get voice assisted navigation from the uh, car speakers and uh, one thing that you get with the Tata Hexa is mood lighting which if we shift here you can see the display dims for some reason and then when you switch on mood lighting you get uh, A mood lighting view over here so you can switch between colors as per as your need and uh, that is how the mood lighting works the mood lighting can only be seen in the evening and uh, the auto mode somewhat uh, changes colors uh, rather randomly we don't think there's a specific uh, algorithm behind it but yeah, a neat little addition, mood lighting to, you know, enhance the cabin quality. You also get uh, USB media playback, the USB port resides here. And uh, you also get a quick play button over here so that you can quickly resume your music playback. The overall speakers are also pretty nice. It gets 10 speakers powered by JBL. And as you can see, there's a JBL logo also over here. And 10.1 uh, setup and the overall music is actually pretty theatrical but it still does feel a little hollow it's not very very tight and uh, we've of course heard better uh, in-car speaker systems but it's still a pretty decent speaker system you also get uh, an SD card slot so there's no dearth of connectivity options on the Tata Hexa and the JBL speakers themselves do pretty well to give you a good in cabin experience if you want to further customize your listening experience you can go to audio and you get the bass mids and treble uh, equalizer to adjust you can also get audio presets so you get rock flat uh, speech your custom classic pop jazz with the standard array of uh, custom uh, preset equalizers and you also get a balance and fader module which is pretty much standard in most infotainment systems well so that covers up the entirety of Tata's new connect next infotainment system this is what you get with the Tata Hexa it does miss out on a sat nav system but apart from that it does fairly well to cover all connectivity options alongside providing a display which is not very high resolution but still gets the job done you also get a rare parking camera over here uh, once again not very high resolution but still getting the job done the dynamic uh, the guide rails are not dynamic unfortunately but well a camera always helps in rear parking nonetheless the rear parking camera can also be activated from this button over here tapping which opens the camera and uh, allows you to see as per your requirements now when it comes to music playback the connect next platform provides you connectivity options via bluetooth via aux via usb and sd card so on the connectivity front you're all sorted in terms of the playback itself, the car gets 10 speakers powered by JBL. As you can see, the woofer is placed to the front and the JBL logo is also fairly visible. So, how is the audio quality? We'll let you listen to it first. terms the bass is pretty powerful once you adjust the equalizer to your preference 
and the overall audio quality is also pretty decent but the audio still sounds a little bit loose nevertheless for a car as big as this the audio output is fairly decent and uh, you will not need to upgrade the in-car speakers and these do suffice and uh, the only thing that uh, is a bit of a qualm here is that when you connect via bluetooth there's a slight amount of lag between you making your operations on the phone and them being relayed on the console so for instance if i pause the music it takes about two seconds to actually register that i paused the song and uh, the song then eventually pauses over here so that is the only bit of an issue over here the bluetooth does seem to be a little slow and the operations are a little sluggish but on overall terms the music playback is actually pretty impressive <laughs> The air conditioner in Tata Hexa is placed at the bottom of the AC controls and uh, it doesn't get dual zone controls or anything so it's a single zone climate control over here which can run on auto, you get uh, defoggers and air control and of course economy mode for efficient usage. The blower does make a fair amount of noise, this is at the lowest setting so once we turn it up, it does feel like a pretty hefty air conditioner unit over there and that too with a few vents closed and uh, the air conditioner itself is pretty pliant it does cool the car efficiently there are also uh, AC controls to the middle seat and AC vents also to the rear seat which uh, ensures that everyone can travel in comfort now the steering wheel retains the familiar Tata format which is the same as we've seen in the Tiago and the Tigor as well uh, on the dash you get uh, the taco and the speedo which are inlaid with the uh, chrome panels which looks quite sporty which looks quite decent as well along with that you get a central mid which is a multi-color led mid which you control with this knob over here so you get a trip meter where you get uh, trip details as you can see they keep changing and along with the total kilometers driven your gear status your uh, fuel gauge timing and temperature and your distance to empty along with that you can switch to fuel so you get instant fuel economy as you drive and uh, your engine temperature as well and uh, you get uh, fuel economy for both trips as you travel and uh, the next is of course uh, settings where you can choose to uh, set your MID in case you want to adjust so basic operations but uh, they get the job done nonetheless and are fairly easy to use when it comes to the steering wheel you get a navigation toggle for switching between tracks when you're playing music or listening to the radio you get a call receive and call reject button over here volume controls to uh, the left and to the right you get uh, voice commands and cruise control and of course cruise speed settings so that's about the steering mounted controls as you get in the Tata Hexa and uh, all of this completes a fairly decent amount of uh, in-car technology which is just about enough to give you as many features as you'd usually need in a car. Now third row seating is something that is often contested as being very congested, being short of space and features but the Tata Hexa actually provides a generous amount of space even in the third seat. I'm seated in the last row of the Tata Hexa and there's a lot of space around me. I have enough space to keep my legs even with the middle seat adjusted comfortably. I have an AC vent over here, I have cup holders over here and I also have a power socket to my left and I've got reading lamps. So the last row is pretty well equipped and is even spacious which makes the Tata Hexa not just utilitarian but also very impressive. Now when your height is nearly 6 feet, seldom do you sit so comfortably that you're overwhelmed actually. And uh, I'm in the middle seat of the Tata Hexa and as you can see I am not just comfortable, I am very comfortably seated at the middle seat. I've got a very pliant armrest, I've got a pliant armrest here with storage for my phone. So I can keep my phone here comfortably. I've got sun blinds which I can pull up. And I've got a coat hanger, I've got AC controls, I've got personal AC vent, I've got a USB port, I've got a cup holder and I've got eons of leg space. I've got 
pretty much a football field so to say in front of me and the seats themselves they're very comfortable they offer good thigh support good back support it's got a nice headrest as well and this is by far one of the most comfortable middle seats that uh, we have seen in cars of late and uh, not just this doesn't just make the car practical this makes the car comfortable and uh, coupled with its good ride quality the middle seat is actually a fabulous place to be in and it's actually the place to be in if you're buying the Tata Hansa. The Tata Hexa is a mighty impressive package. It offers an imposing stance along with excellent ride quality, particularly the middle seat. The technology inside is sufficient but leaves slight room for improvement and so does city handling with the slightly stiff steering wheel. But all in all, this is a car that you would love to drive on the highway and the ride comfort is great for those who are travelling on the middle seat. That's it from the Tata Hexa review. Stay tuned to digit.in for more.